I just bought possibly the most useless Apple product ever made, and it's odd. Don't I have a series for that? Oh yeah, I do. <laughs> Let's get to it. I'm Greg Rodkay of Rodkay Mods, and welcome to episode three of season one of my Mac Oddware series. <laughs> yeah, um, we're back, and uh, I just bought possibly the most useless Apple product ever made, the PowerBook weight-saving device. I spent $30 on this thing, and uh, I bought a plastic empty box for $30. And I haven't slept in days thinking that I spent $30 on a plastic box. So yeah, uh, here it is. Um, get my composure here. Um, <laughs> yeah, I've been going a little crazy thinking about this thing. Um, but in all seriousness, yeah, the PowerBook weight saving device. Um, it's an odd piece of um, hardware here. Um, I, I almost said technology, but it's literally just a plastic box. And uh, uh, you're probably thinking right now, Greg, are you seriously going to film a whole video on a plastic box? Yes, yes I am. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway. So yeah, this is technically Mac hardware, and it was a product from Apple that Apple actually sold for PowerBooks. Um, put your mindset into the late 90s, early 2000s. Say you're a businessman with twigs for arms. And when I say twigs for arms, I mean literally twigs for arms, like that thick twigs for arms, and you're PowerBook, your 10 pound maybe PowerBook is too heavy for you. Okay, this is where this comes in. You just take out your battery and you stick it into the system. And then if you have another one, you can take out the optical drive and pretend this is another one and you just shove it into the system. And suddenly, your 10 pound power book is more like nine and a quarter pounds. Yeah. And now, it also doesn't have a battery in it. Yeah. Boy, this seems like a great idea, Apple. Uh, yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, it's literally just a plastic box. There's nothing in it. It's totally empty. So yeah, we're filming a video about a plastic box. I'm fine. I'm fine. Um, so yeah. Now you've suddenly made your power book into a desktop. It's no longer mobile, but you can carry it around with you and it's slightly lighter. Mm hmm? The problem is, if you want to actually use it, you have to carry your power brick, which weighed roughly about the same as your battery did. Yeah, great idea, Apple. Anyway, today we're going to be showing you this and showing you what it was meant for and then showing you some use cases where I might actually find a use for this. So let's get to it. All right, so the PowerBook weight-saving device for use in either expansion bay to reduce overall system weight. 
Dispositive D, and I'm not going to even try. Um, this was actually an Apple product, Apple Computer Incorporated, copyright 2000, and here's the part number. This actually existed. Yeah. And it's literally just a plastic box. There's nothing special about it whatsoever. But I did bring over two systems so we could actually test it out and see how it works. Uh, here is my G3 Lombard, and here is my G4 Pismo. Yeah. So, the Lombard already has an empty bay right here. So we'll just take this. Yeah, that was exciting, riveting entertainment there. Yeah. Okay. Well, my Pismo is actually running right now. If we look in the bays here, left bay contains battery. Let's make this system lighter. What do you say? Move this out of the way. We'll eject it. And suddenly, left bay is empty. Well, let's put this in here. Okay. And left bay is still empty. But it's it's not empty. It's it's in there. Oh yeah, it's just a plastic box. Yeah. But yeah, that's the use case. And um, let's compare it real quick to what a battery looks like. This is a factory battery, which still, believe it or not, works. It just popped back in. There we go. Battery, not battery. Flimsy piece of crap. Really heavy piece of crap because the battery's finally getting to the point where it's dying. But then again, it's actually still working and holds a charge, as we can see. Uh, <laughs> so I guess not that big of a piece of crap. But yeah, if you compare them, that's what they look like. Riveting, isn't it? So yeah, let's put the battery back in here and we'll unplug the system here and that wasn't the battery. Um, yeah, very useful piece of technology here. Well, a very useful plastic box. Hmm, so what can we use this for? I may have a few ideas. Okay, I've got one idea. Maybe you can use it as a weapon. It was mildly unpleasant. No, probably not a good weapon. No, it was right in the nose, too. Oh. Okay, as long as you aim for the nose, it might hurt a little bit, but no. Okay, maybe you can use it as a really crappy doorstop. Here it is. Here's the door. Uh. Yeah, no. No. Maybe if we try a different door. Okay, so here's a different door. Yeah, that didn't do anything. Okay, so let's say your camera tripod's got a short leg. I mean, it sort of works. You can fix your short leg with it as long as it doesn't weigh a whole lot because otherwise it will start flexing. Then again, if you fill it up with cement, it wouldn't be a weight-saving device anymore, but hey, you could use it to prop things up with. Uh, hmm. You could also probably, if you had enough of them, build a house out of it. You'd also have to fill it up with cement then, probably. But you could probably make it make it into some kind of makeshift brick. Mm, no, probably not a good idea for that either. So what can you use it for? Ah, I think I have an idea. Okay, so I did actually come up with one good potential use case for this flimsy, crappy plastic box here. And that is, you can pull it apart. There's actually locking tabs in it. 
say you want to hide something like your um, movie money here, okay? You just open it up, put your money in it, like so, and then you just line this up and clip it back together, like so, and then slide it into your vintage notebook, like so. And now you've hidden your money, uh, which actually makes this kind of useful um, but it also could be a problem if you, if you have one of those family members that like to throw away old crap. Um, or for instance, if your kids ever are looking for your inheritance, um, they'd probably never find it in here. And now I've got to pry this thing back apart. Okay, I didn't think this through very well. Good thing it's only prop money. So yeah, that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video on the PowerBook weight saving device. Uh, yeah, it's it's an exciting piece of kit here, isn't it? Oh yeah. Oh, I just I can't get over how exciting it is. But in all seriousness, and this actually existed. Apple actually made this. Uh, it's odd. It's definitely what I'd consider odd. Where it's hardware and it went on a Mac. It's non-functional hardware. It's basically literally just a filler, but it's still technically hardware. And it's it's mechanical hardware. It goes into something and stays in place until you eject it. So it's oddware. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Enjoyed me showing you what you could use it for. Um, and yeah, um, you can't use it for a whole lot now, can you? But um, I hope you at least had fun with this video. It wasn't a super serious video, but I wanted to come back with the Mac Oddware series on something lighter and um, something I could film pretty quick. And I did film this pretty quick, so I should be able to get this out pretty quick too. But um, we're going to go back to regular Mac Oddware where we find interesting things. And I actually already have something on the desk that is why we're not on the desk. Um, that's for episode four, which is coming soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, don't forget, I do now have a Patreon. If you'd like to support me, there'll be a link at the end of the video and also in the description below. And yeah, um, and don't worry, I wasn't actually going crazy today. That was all acting, um, but I was getting so convincing, I thought I was going crazy at some point. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm kidding. Uh, anyway, so yeah, uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and this has been a Red Game Mods video. Bye, guys. I just bought possibly the most useless apple. <laughs> Um, today's video, we're going to be talking about the PowerBook weight-saving device. Yeah, this here. Yeah. No. Hello, I'm Greg Rodkay of Rodkay Mods, and welcome to episode...